What's going on guys? Randy here with another crypto video, this time about Cadena and how this blockchain will shock the world. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you get notified when I post again. If you want to continue this discussion about Cadena, join my Discord. Link is down below in the description. Let's get into it. All right, so what is Cadena? It's a proof of work protocol, just like Bitcoin, that in itself is nothing special, but the protocol can scale and is fast. Most blockchains these days are proof of stake, so you can stake your coins and earn more rewards. But Cadena is kind of old fashioned and still is rocking the proof of work, similar to Bitcoin, like Litecoin used to be how Ethereum was, but they switched over to proof of stake. But Katana is different because it uses dual layer technology. In other words, it uses two different chains. So Katana has a public blockchain called Chainweb, and the other chain is a private chain, and it goes by the name of Kuro. Now what's pretty cool about Katana is real companies already use Katana's features, fintech, government infrastructures, pharmaceuticals, gas management, they all use Cadena already. So pharmaceutical companies use Cadena to track and trace controlled substances. A government infrastructure, they use it as a voting platform on the municipal or in government levels, just to name a few. Now Cadena has said that they have solved the blockchain trilemma, which is the balance between scalability, security, and decentralization. Now it is said that blockchains can handle two of these parts, but usually have to sacrifice a third. So you can't get all three, which again is the scalability, security, and decentralization. Usually you have two, but you can't get all three. Cadena has all three. So Chainweb is where you can uh, make your transactions. This is the layer one chain, whereas Curo is where you can build applications. This is the layer two chain. This is what allows for scalability and the fast processing of transactions. Now what's pretty wild is these two chains can process up to 480,000 transactions per second. Bitcoin can only handle seven transactions uh, per second. And Litecoin, 60 transactions per second. Just light years ahead of its predecessors. Now anytime you're investing in a crypto, it's important to look at the team. Good teams are what's going to make the project tick. It's going to make the project successful in the long run. So taking a look at Cadena, Will Martino and Stuart Popejoy are the co-founders of Cadena. One of their top advisors is Stuart Haber. Stuart Haber is the co-inventor of blockchain technology. In the Bitcoin white paper, he is one of the most referenced authors. How about having someone like that on your team, the godfather of blockchain technology, working with your chain? It's pretty insane if you think about it. Will Martino is currently the CEO, and he has also worked for over two years for the SEC. Most projects out there are running from the SEC because they're unregistered securities. Now, they're not complying with the SEC. Well, this guy here, Will Martino, actually worked for the SEC. If anyone knows the ins and outs, it's Will. Now, Martino and Pope Joy started this project back in 2016, so it's not something that just popped up in 2020. It's been around the block. It's been working. They've been working together to get this where it needs to be. Martino and Pope Joy made this protocol to be the answer to Ethereum with its scalability and high cost problems. Both men used to work for JP Morgan, which is a huge bank in the U.S. They developed JP Morgan's first blockchain. Now, back in the 2021 bull market that we just had, Cadena had a massive rise going 500%. Here were some main reasons why Cadena's price just skyrocketed. So like we said, Cadena can process 480,000 transactions per second thanks to the use of their braided chains. Of course, that's Chainweb and Curo. Now, at the time when Cadena went parabolic, they launched a wrapped version of its token called WKDA which operates on the Ethereum network and allows it to interact with all Ethereum virtual machine uh, compatible decentralized finance protocols. And at the same time, NFT projects were starting to launch on Cadena as well. The UFO token announced that it will be building their NFT gaming platform on Cadena. So when other projects and DApps start to use blockchains, that's what's going to help it rise up the ranks. As far as uh, token price goes, you know, people actually using these blockchains. In the bear market, this is the time to invest in blockchains because those are the ones that are going to run. 
blockchains always seem to do well, especially the ones that are working and building in the bear market. They're going to come out strong. Also coupled with new exchange listings, such as Crypto.com and CoinMetro actually offers KDA staking, even though Kadena is a proof of work. CoinMetro offered this staking. And KDA staking on CoinMetro was a huge success with 730,000 KDA filled in 20 minutes. Pretty crazy. It just goes to show you that the huge Kadena community, it's something they wanted. And they uh, they responded pretty well. Those are the top three reasons why Kadena's price went parabolic. Uh, could it happen again? Yes, yeah, certainly could. Kadena was as low as the 38 cent range as of July 2021. And by November, it had shot up to $27.64. It's pretty insane. Now Kadena sits at about 93 cents. Let's take a look at some cool things going on inside the Kadena ecosystem. So a company called Eucalyptus Labs actually has a website called Kadena Ecosystem, and they track all the projects on Kadena, which is pretty cool. Not many projects do this where they have a centralized area, so you can see what's going on within a certain uh, blockchain. But Kadena has that. It says, explore 100 plus projects building on Kadena. Our mission is to make information more accessible by providing an overview of all the projects and dApps building on Kadena. And it, it shows you everything from wallets to NFT projects to, to DeFi. So if you go to Discover Ecosystem, and then you can filter by keywords, Marketplace, DApp, Dex, Wallets, Nodes, Memes, and so on. And then you just click on learn more and uh, you can find out a little bit more about the project. One of the popular wallet to hold your Kadena is Koala Wallet, which is actually made by Eucalyptus Labs. And of course, there's other options as well. Now, Eucalyptus Labs just released the, the Kadena Explorer. The Explorer is an analytics platform and block explorer for the Kadena blockchain that provides users with insights and detailed information about transactions on the network. And you can see all the information about recent transactions right here on this dashboard. So a lot of cool stuff coming from partners outside of Kadena themselves, but they're there to push up this project to work side by side with Kadena. It's great to see and it's only gonna further the success of this blockchain. Now, as great as this project is, so many awesome things, to like about Kadena. It also has its downfalls as well, just like any project. Um, one of the biggest things people say is the marketing. Kadena isn't marketing their project enough, which, you know, it is the bear market. They'll start ramping up their marketing when the bull market resumes. But this user on Reddit says the biggest issue with KDA isn't a lack of marketing or macroeconomics. It's the current mining model. So many miners jump to ship. The ones who are still on board are creating so much bearish sell pressure. Lack of dApps is an issue as well. Devs need to learn Pact. It's a time-consuming investment for a programmer. So this was four months ago. This user makes a valid point. Let me know down in the comments what you think. What's the biggest issue that you see with Kadena right now? All right, over on CoinGecko, Kadena is ranked 181. I think it's in a perfect spot right now to where there's still room for it to get into the top 100, maybe the top 50. You know, it could, it could pull an Avalanche. It could pull a Solana in the next bull run with all the developments here um, coming up in the future. But right now, $0.93 cents is a steal for Kadena, considering that it was $27 at one point. Let's take a look. If it were just to get back to $27, and if you're buying in now at about $0.93, cents, divide that by $0.93, cents, you're going to get about 1,075 KDA coins. You're, you're talking about turning your $1,000 investment to $29,000. There's a lot of room for KDA to grow. Even if you were to cut that in half, let's say you don't think it's going to make it to its $27 all-time high again. Maybe you think it only goes half that in the next bull market. $1,000, you can turn that into $14,000. Pretty nice return on your investment for only $1,000. For me, I'm betting on blockchains. I'm betting on projects that are always working. I'm betting on teams. And Kadena has a lot of those qualities. And then you have outside businesses that are working to help elevate Kadena. Also, let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you think KDA can hit its all-time high of 27 do you think it'll blow by that it looks like a good investment at this point now of course anything can happen not financial advice of course but just something cool to look at hope you guys like the video be sure to join the discord link is down below and i will see you guys very soon